Hello everyone, this is NS Alters, and today I'll be showing you how I painted this Cultivate Border Extension Altar. As always, we start off with a nice neutral background and lots of thin layers. And then, since with this card a lot of the art is going to be covered up by leaves, I'm just doing some very generic color matching, so getting some gradients of brown, and in the few areas where I know there's not going to be any leaves, I did a little bit of detail, but I'll come back to those later on and really flesh them out once I know exactly what's going to be showing through. Once the background is uh, generically down, I decided to work on the arm next. So just trying to color match the skin tones. There's a nice real uh, highlight from uh, the light coming off the ground, so putting that on the edge of the arm there. You'll also notice that the original art, I, probably just for stylistic contrast, it has this a uh, solid brown outline around some of the hand, so I'm just adding in those very thin brown lines on the bracer as well. After making the color gradients just right and adding a little bit of texture for shadows and arm hairs, I think the arm came out pretty good. So next I'm just blocking out where the leaves are going to be. Uh, if you saw my Myel the Anima altar, I'm using a sort of similar technique to really make the leaves feel like they're popping off the card and like you're peering through the forest to get to the scene. So first, just making that neutral background, I chose a, a light yellow, uh, as that sort of works with the bright highlights that are going to be coming later. And then I just start darkening them with a sort of grayish green color. So once I have that darker color down, the next step is to kind of bring out the details in small layers by small layers. So start off with a very light green, sort of work up these highlights and the edges, and then I contrast that and I get a very dark green and I start pulling down the shadows. And once I'm happy with the contrast, uh, then I take a yellow glaze mixed with a little bit of green here and there, but mostly just a yellow glaze and I wash over the entire thing to really bring the piece together. As uh, sometimes I find it's hard when working with yellows uh, and other warm colors uh, glazes will really help bring those tones in rather than just mixing on the original part of the painting. So now that all the leaves are done, adding in details onto the ground where they're showing through, so putting in some cracks and just, you know, some texture here and there. And once I'm happy with all the art, the last step is just to scrape off the edges of the text boxes where you want them to look professional and finished. The last step here will be to add some watered down brown paint, making some shadows just to really have the leaves pop off the art. And I decided to add some cracks and texture over the text box just to pull it all together. And we're done. And there it is. One Cultivate, ready to ramp your way to victory and crush all those stupid blue players the next time you play Cube. If you liked this video, please consider subscribing, or if you'd like to see me alter a specific card, leave a comment down below. Thanks for watching, and have a good day.